Welcome back to the CO YouTube channel and this week we're going to learn about Pulumi and we're going to look at a hands-on demo of the Pulumi provider that we have at CO and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit more about why you want why you would want to use Pulumi, what are the features, what are the challenges it solves and uh, obviously a demo and uh, we'll spin up a cluster and some resources using Pulumi. So yeah, let's dive straight into it. So Pulumi is an open source infrastructure as a code tool that enables us to define our cloud infrastructure using modern programming languages. Now, if you, if you talk about something like, uh, like the Terraform and stuff, so you may be like, okay, I'm defining my resources and everything in, in code, but what if I want to apply some, some logic behind it? Like if this, then create this, else create that, right? This logic. So programming languages allow us to to do that so uh, pulumi is a is an open source infrastructure as code tool that supports various modern programming languages like javascript typescript python golang and uh, the dotnet ecosystem as well and uh, it also support yaml files so folks who like to work with yaml files you can use pulumi for that as well there are plenty of features uh, you know as you can see on the on the website uh, you know um, it's basically the idea over here is that you have the application code and infrastructure code and it's like bundled you know like like together and now they're best friends or something <laughs> so uh in terms of management i'll show you you know the features for that and uh faster collaboration and all these other things one more thing if you already have your existing infrastructure as code uh solutions as well you can migrate to to pulumi it makes it relatively easy to do that so without further ado let's get uh started and uh, what we're going to do over here is i'm going to install uh, node so if you don't have it already you can install node right so basically in order for us to work with Pulumi, we need to install two things. So the language runtime of our choice and the Pulumi CLI, right? So I'm installing, I'm going to be using TypeScript. So I just install node and obviously Pulumi. So I can say, brew install Pulumi. I already have it installed. So that's basically about it. Cool. On Mac, you can use homebrew. Now what I'm going to do is that we have installed the Pulumi CLI. So we can now use this to create a Pulumi project. Okay. So, uh, it will auto generate a little bit of, of, you know, a few files for us and uh, we can then modify those files and work accordingly. So, okay. So it's going to, it's going to generate a Pulumi project. Okay. And it's going to use TypeScript as a language if you want to use that. So I can say Pulumi new Kubernetes TypeScript. Okay. Oh, saying it's not an empty repository. So make sure you have an empty repository. I can just create a CVO demo, right? Then I can go inside that and run the same command. There you go. Now it's an empty repository. So it's going to create a new project. Project name, I can just say CVO demo. A project already exists. Okay. No problem. I can just say CVO demo 2. No problem. And the description you can provide, that's fine. Um, it's saying that the stack name. So you have a project, okay, a Pulumi project, and then it's asking for a stack name. So what is the stack thing? So, you know, you may be requiring different configurations for various stacks like dev, testing, production. So that, that way Pulumi allows us to create different stacks for it. I'll just leave it as dev. Okay. So stack, you can think of it as a, as an instance of your project, right? So you can, you, you can reuse the same project multiple times and every, every independent deployment will have a separate stack. If that makes sense. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is that, uh, we're going to, we're going to create a Kubernetes cluster with the CO Pulumi provider. And, uh, the two main changes that we're doing over here is, um, first thing we need to do is that, uh, we need to add the CO Pulumi provider in the package.json file okay so if i do a list you can see that i have uh, i have some uh, you know um some files over here that has been already created with me uh, created for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up in vs code as well so that you're able to see okay here i have it in my um in my uh, vs code i've opened the files so i have to basically add in the package.json the the uh, the uh the sevo pulumi provider so i'm just i can just do that via npm npm install at pulumi sevo so it's going to be added in my package json file as you can see here we have it now cool 
So that's one thing. And we would also need to modify the index.js file. So this is sort of like the main file, the index.ts file. And this is our infrastructure as code in TypeScript language, right? So I'm gonna modify this according to SIBO. Okay, so I've made the, the changes and I'm saying import star as SIBO from Pulumi SIBO. So I'm using the provider now, which was previously not available. It's saying that you are making a sample file, you're making a firewall in the region L London. And here also the region is London. And I can say, let's say node count. Let's say fine, one is fine, no problem. And firewall ID and everything. So tags and region and everything is provided over here. And this is the name. Now, one thing you can see this export section over here. This basically means that, you know, when the cluster, when the clusters and everything, all the resources are done being created, it's going to print it out in the, in the, in the CLI. Okay. So since uh, you're creating these resources, make sure you're using the SIBO uh, Pulumi provider. Otherwise it will create the, uh, all the resources and everything in your, uh, in your local, uh, by reading the local cube config file. Okay. So if you're having the local cube config file for like something like mini cube, it will not create it in, uh, in SIBO. It will instead do it in whatever your local cube config file points to. So what we're going to do now is that, uh, it's going to, you know, it's going to create a node cluster and the size is given small and all these other things in region London. That's fine. No problem. So basically now what we want to do is we want to configure, like how is it going to connect with the SIBO, you know, uh, the, 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 our, our account basically in simple terms. So we need the API key for that. So you go to settings, you go to profile. Okay. And once you go to profile, you can go to security and there you will find your API key. So I'm just going to copy that. So once you have the key, you can just, you know, um, set the config for it. So you can say in, inside the inside the project's root directory, you can say pull me config set CVO token secret. And here you can paste your key. I've just added it as a placeholder. So this will basically save the API key um, under the configuration key CVO token. And the secret option is basically ensuring that it's uh, encrypted, right? So I'm just going to paste it and click enter. And the second way by which you can do it is you can just export, um, you know, the, the environment variable, you can set the environment variable, CVO underscore token to the key and that would work as well. Now we can create our cluster. So I can say Pulumi preview. And this would basically, you know, see, we will be able to see what it is going to create for us. So it's going to create three resources. Okay. No problem. Now we can create it. So I can say Pulumi up and that's going to create things for us. So in a couple of minutes, you know, we'll have our brand new uh, cluster and I'm just going to say, do you want to perform this updates? Yes, I do. And it's going to create stuff for us. And the name that we exported will be displayed as an output. Cool. So I can go to this URL as well. And here you can see the history and configuration changes, environment, See, CO token added over here in an encrypted format, environment and everything. So it's mentioned over here, everything. Cool. So you can see the activity and resources and everything. So it says that it's creating it. So if we can just go to the Kubernetes section, we should see a cluster being created. There you go. So here we see that a cluster is being created in the London region. Pretty cool, right? And one node pool because we mentioned that, right? Here we go. Awesome. So as you can see, it has been created. And um, as I mentioned previously, it has uh, outputted, you know, given an output as our cluster name, um, a minute or so it got created. And um, here, what we can do is I can actually now use the CO CLI to interact with the cluster because I was given the cluster name. You can see over here it's been it's been created it's running so you can obviously work with the dashboard and, and all these other things as well so basically i can say evo kubernetes config i can add the correct name over here of my cluster and that i can save it there we go we have it now okay or you can just download it from here as well that's basically about it. Uh, and now you can start working with, uh, you know, you can use the CVC or whatever, like uh, up to you. But uh, if you want to, you know, delete your cluster, you're done experimenting and everything, you can just say, um, pull me destroy.
so this will basically uh, remove the the stack right um, I'm gonna just say all the resources will be deleted three resources will be deleted yes and it will delete it if we go back here and refresh we should see it's gone <laughs> okay so it was gone so the resources in the stack were deleted but the history and configuration in the stack still remain same if you want to remove the stack as well you can just say pull me stack remove dev okay dev delete it there you go so that's basically about it and uh, highly encourage you all to check out the the documentation as well or more information can be found over here this is a quick demo about the pulumi provider by sivo and thanks a lot for watching i'll see you next time